Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 29. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right. Nissan Infinity Owners Club. Let's get on with it. We're taking the GTR R34 for this one. Starting off with Twin Ring Mategi, Suzuka, Sunset Peninsula and then Circuit to Catalonia. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Round race one. Now that is what happens when you get a car with four wheel drive. Four wheel drive is always just going to be so much more better performing. Bad. You can't forget our future plans. Yeah, you know, funny thing is, right? We are on, I believe this is episode 28 that we're recording right now, pretty much. Uh, and so far. Uh, episode 1 has not yet aired on YouTube. It doesn't even air tomorrow. I think by the time the next Forza stream comes out, that's when the first episode of Motorsport 3 will go out. So, this Friday. Which is crazy. The thing is, the wing that's on this skyline is the smallest a rear wing should ever be for any car. To be perfectly honest. Like, if you're adding a spoiler to a car, it shouldn't be any smaller than what this is. So, I don't understand why the Lotus Exige has such a small wing on it, and I think it's an abomination. To be honest, for me, the, the Exige would be a much more enjoyable car especially to look at it'd be a, an awesome car to look out look out look at if only they put a proper bloody fucking wing on it because the wing on it at the moment is disappointing and tiny <laughs> it's average choke's been milked dry
There we go. We got nine grand. Good first race so far. My touch portal just came up with an error message saying it couldn't connect to my PC whilst also managing to issue every instruction that I told it to issue. So I'm very confused. I've had conflicted information. Me no like. Woo woo. There is a nice variety of different cars in this game. Which is pretty cool. extremely windy the past few days in the UK like ridiculously windy to the point that like even sat here now the breeze that's blown through my window I've got closed doors like this very rarely happens where any form of breeze actually comes through my window granted it's tiny the amount of breeze that there is compared to what it's like outside I never get a breeze so I'm pretty happy until the door opens, in which case it does become like an absolute, I don't know, tornado in here. why the uh, Skyline has such a small speedo. Probably because they don't want to tempt people to go over the speed limit. Why? It's a reason. Might not be the reason, but it's potentially a reason. Uh, we now have a 20% discount on brakes upgrades by AP Racing Japan. The sunlight hurts my eyes. I love this song. 
So uh, I did just buy Budget Cuts 2 for VR. Um, I haven't even played Budget Cuts 1, but it was like £1.50 on Enema. Which, by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube or Twitch, check in the description slash about panels. Got a uh, affiliate link there. Every bit of uh, support's greatly appreciated. You can get yourself some really cheap Steam keys from there. Sell out time over. Anyways, yeah, I got um, budget cuts. Really quite excited for that game because it's sort of like this VR, almost like a futuristic robot like scenario where you've got these like security camera robots. It's like stealth almost, um, but it's got some pretty interesting traversal mechanics implemented into the game. But uh, recently they put on Humble Bundle for pretty cheap. But it's uh, it's it's eight pound for that and contractors. But I already own contractors, so I don't need to buy it again. But what I don't own is budget cuts, so I can just buy that on its own from Enaba for a pound fifty. Big brain strats. Thy sunlight hurt thy eyes. Tunes in it. DJ Fresh, Dizzy Rascal. Could check a buddy like an hourglass. Ah, ah. Come with me. I still can't believe they announced that they're just kicking Dan Danny Rick out at the end of the year. But uh, I, can, I can guarantee that um, Piastri is going to be in that seat. Alpine's looking for um, Pierre Gasly as well. There's a potential new driver. What the car is that? I don't even want to know. That's disgusting. We got eight grand for that. Result. All right, here we go. Circuit to Catalonia.
going wild for the night, but being polite. Come on, keep it going. Not bad. I still don't like this section of Catalonia. This going down here and then going through the chicane is it's a horrible section. It's not too bad when you're in a slower car, but this track is designed for Formula One vehicles. And race cars. And none of them seem to be able to get around that section. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, fuck. Woo! RACC, I just saw that and was thinking, where do I recognize that from? That's from the uh, Catalonia rally that's coming up soon in Spain, so it's probably where I recognize the name from. completed event completed i do need to uh, delete a clip because apparently i've got one too many clips i need to work out where the duplicate is or the extra not bad i will take that let's have a look see how much money we get 12 grand lovely all right so we are here for the mercedes-benz owners club we're going to be taking the sl65 black edition i think it's a black edition uh, starting off with Iberian International Circuit, moving on to Road Atlanta, New York, and then Sunset Peninsula. I had a hiccup. Great. Let's go. All right, here we go. Oh, well, those rims are nice. And that engine noise is lovely as well. Oh, 
This thing doesn't seem to be turning much. Yeah, the turning circle of this thing is quite large. But then again, it is quite a big, big car. Quite chunky. Interior is quite nice. I miss old school Mercedes interiors like this. Not the old clunky looking ones, but like the ones where they got the blue accents and the black and white dials. These ones are nice. I believe it was either this game or Motorsport 4 where they added the SLS as well. Now the SLS is a beautiful car. Why the Prodigy? Absolute bangers! Every single song they make, just, just vibes. Such a shame that they're not really making any music now. I hope that they do make an album because they are extremely talented. Granted, they lost a band member, but it would be a bit of a waste of that talent to just stop making music at that point. Even if it's an album every like four or five years now. Just a small album. Keep us in the loop with some prodigy songs. And I've lost my controller. Hang on. I now have my controller. There we go. <laughs> I think I accidentally kicked the wire out, so... That's the one problem with having a wired controller. Is the fact that you kick the wire out, it just completely cocks up. I do have the option to use this PS5 controller wirelessly, but... The signal's a bit patchy sometimes. And sometimes it would just outright disconnect, so... MSN Autos. I wonder what they were, what that was, whether that was just like a Facebook marketplace for cars. It definitely isn't a thing now. I mean, MSN still exists, but nobody really properly uses it. The one thing I don't understand what shut down was um, Games for Windows Live. I don't understand why they shut that down. Because to be honest, that made the most sense. And even if they just merged that in with Xbox, I don't get why they just shut down games for Windows Live outright. That was a baffling decision. Because it basically makes every modern day game unplayable unless you find a 
the latest version, which isn't publicly available. Not easily publicly available, anyway. All right, here we go. Road Atlanta time now. Chat very dead. Agreed. You can always uh, feel free to share the stream out. Help it grow. Greatly appreciate it. Oh, come on. A little bit tail happy, to be honest, this car. Thanks. Banana. There is love. If anyone's played Burnout Paradise, you'll 100% know this song. Too bad. I do like the way that this Mercedes feels, to be honest. It's a, re it's a really aggressive looking car, I'll be honest. Mercedes know how to make good looking cars. They've made good looking cars for years. But Ferrari is like the peak. Cars. As much as I hate Ferrari as a company, I think every single Ferrari car that has ever been made, I have always looked at it and gone, hmm, that's nice. Every single time. There isn't a single car from Ferrari that I can fault. Lamborghini, on the other hand, there are a couple of cars I can fault. But if anyone faults the Miura, you're dead to me. The Miura is one of the most beautiful cars to ever exist. I'd love to own a Miura if it wasn't for the fact that it would cost me an arm, a leg, and a kidney. And the rest of me, probably, as well. There we go, we got eight grand. Bada bidding. Uh, we now have a 10% discount on differential upgrades by ZF. Result. All right, here we go. Never know. Vroom, 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 vroom. I still find it extremely impressive that this game runs at 60 frames a second. 
on hardware like the 360. Like that hardware is disappointing. To think though that after this game, the next game is Motorsport 4. And Motorsport 4 is going to be the last game that I play on the 360. Once I'm done with Motorsport 4, I won't be playing any more 360 games, pretty much. Uh, and then I'll have four more games to do on the Xbox One, which will be Horizon 1, Motorsport 5, Horizon 2, Motorsport 6. And then once I'm done with those four games, we're then moving on to uh, Horizon 3, 4, and 5, and Motorsport 7, all on PC. Which is awesome. Also, I'm surprised uh, Xbox hasn't announced um, end-of-life support for... Uh, what's it called? Horizon 4 yet. Because that game, when they made it, that was the last game before they went back to the drawing board. So I can't imagine that when they made that, their intention was to keep the licenses going for more than four years. That's why they do this in Motorsport 7, even though they added content to it during its life cycle, they still delisted it after four years. So, Horizon's due to get delisted at some point. And it's due for me to buy it on Steam as well. Got no vacancy, there we trust. I would love for Xbox to offer Game Pass though on Steam. Like EA Play. Even if it's not linked with Game Pass Ultimate at all and it's a completely separate thing. I'd buy it. I'd buy Game Pass for PC on its own if it was available on Steam. Catfight. Get up and go, who they want you to be, who killed the party with me and never go home. Do you know, I had an intro video that I was planning on putting up when I did my Gran Turismo 5 playthrough, um, which I believe was very start of 2020. Somewhere around there. Um... And I was planning on putting the intro video up so that I could put like the entire thing and go through the entire experience. But the intro video got copyright claimed. And for some reason now, it's just all of a sudden been lifted. Like two years after I uploaded it. I think that's pretty stupid, but I mean, it's been lifted. The only problem why I couldn't upload it though, like I would have still uploaded it if it was just copyright claimed, but it was copy blocked. Like it was restricted so that no one could watch it. Which is baffling. I've already got that on this uh, playlist. It should come on at some point, if it does. I can scroll through and find it and bump it up the queue. Now you say you love me. Ball bag. Oh well. Wow. Uh, 8,900. Not bad. We've got level 3. We've now got 10% discount on springs and dampers. Alright, here we go. V12 by turbo. A twin turbo V12 from Mercedes. 
Do you know what's really surprising is this engine doesn't sound like a typical V12. Because it doesn't rev that high. It probably does sound the same. Like if you were to drive a Lamborghini but shift up at 6,000 RPM. It probably would sound like this. I just think it's quite crazy actually. A V12 that only revs up to 6K. It's like a muscle car, almost. Like, they've made a muscle car out of a V12. <laughs> Only five gears. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day has been ruined. Why would any race car from, like, 2000 beyond have any less than six gears? No car should have less than six gears at this point. Even golfs that can struggle to get above 110 have six gears. Not bad. Two laps done so far. Two more to go. Two, two, final two. This is such a tune, isn't it? Lovely. Hey, nice one. Is that the um, San Remo or the Sardegna rally? I think it would be Sardegna because I think San Remo was 2003 and earlier, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, there are two, two different versions of Rally Italy in the WRC series. Because uh, the Italian rally used to actually be on tarmac before they then moved it to, um, what's it called? Dirt racing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Woo woo. Cheers, Flo. No, don't crash into it. Oh. I was going to say, if my AI crashed into that car, I would have cried. We got Alexis number six, Enios SC430. Not bad. Not bad at all. We got 12 grand. Which is pretty good. I don't like that. That looks like a dead frog. Not a fan of it. I'll pass, thank you. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.